This is part 37 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the concept of event delegation in jQuery. This is continuation to part 36, so please watch part 36 before proceeding. So what's event delegation? Event delegation allows us to attach a single event listener to a parent element that will fire for all descendants matching a selector, whether those descendants exist now or added in the future. Both on and delegate functions allow us to perform event delegation. In fact, in our previous video session, we discussed how to perform event delegation using on function. Let's quickly recap that example. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So this is the same example that we worked with in the previous video session. Notice that here we have an unordered list element and two list items. So here the unordered list is the parent element and these two are the descendants. And look at the jQuery code here. Notice we have a single click event listener attached to the parent element, that is, to the unordered list element. And look at the selector, li. So this selector matches all these list items, all the descendants of unordered list. So now, when a click event is triggered on any of these list items, since those list items does not have their own click event handler, that event will get bubbled up to its parent, that is the unordered list. And since the unordered list has a click event uh, listener, that's going to handle the click event of those list items. Now these two list items are present at design time, that is now. Now we can also add list items to this unordered list dynamically at runtime. In fact, if you look at this UI, notice that we have got a button, add a new list item. When we click that button, you know, this piece of code is executed. And look at what we are doing here. We are adding a new list item to the unordered list, that is to the same parent element. Now, even when we click on this new list items that is dynamically added, even that click event will be handled by the same parent element, that is this unordered list. Okay, so what is even delegation? Even delegation allow us to attach a single event listener to a parent element and that will fire for all descendants matching a selector. So in this case, all these descendants match this selector. And if an event is triggered, that is if a click event is triggered on those descendants which match that selector, then that event will be handled by the single click event listener that is attached to the parent element. That's nothing but event delegation. And these list items, they could be present now or you could add them dynamically at runtime. And here we are doing event delegation using on function. So let's quickly look at this example in action. Let's add a couple of new list items. Look at this. When I click on the existing list item, that fades out and even the new list item fades out. So at the moment, we are doing event delegation using on function. We could also do event delegation using delegate function. So instead of on, we can use delegate. Let's look at that. So let's change the name here from on to delegate. But if you look at this delegate function, notice that with delegate, first we have to specify the selector and then the type of event. With on, we first specify the type of event and then the selector. So we have to reverse these two parameters. So first the selector and then the type of event. And here notice we are using delegate function. Let's save the changes, reload this page and see if this is going to work in the same manner. Let's add new list items. And look at this, when I click on the existing it works, new it works. So here we're using delegate function to perform event delegation. So why do we have two functions in jQuery to do the same thing? Now delegate function is introduced long back whereas on function is introduced in jQuery version 1.7. So jQuery recommends, if you're using 1.7 or higher version, jQuery actually recommends to use on function to perform event delegation. But if you're using jQuery version 1.6 or earlier, then your best bet to perform event delegation is delegate function. Now let's see how to stop event delegation. Let's throw in a button which says undelegate and then when we click that button we want to stop event delegation. So let's first include a button. Let's make a copy of this and let's change the ID of the button to button undelegate and let's also change the value on the button to undelegate. 
So the ID of the button is PTN undelegate. So let's find that button by ID and when we click that button we want to stop event delegation. All right. So let's find the unordered list element, that is the parent element. So find the unordered list. And what do we want to do? We want to stop event delegation. Now to stop event delegation, there are two ways. You could either use off function or undelegate function. First, let's see use off. So we are using off, and with off function, we first need to specify the type of event and then the selector. So the type of event that we want to stop event delegation is click and the next thing is the selector and the selector is li. Okay, so we are using our function to stop event delegation. Alright, so let's save these changes, reload the page and let's add a couple of list items. Look at this at the moment event delegation is an action but let's click this undelegate button so event delegation should be stopped now look at this when I click on the existing list item or the new list item nothing happens right so now we stopped event delegation and to stop event delegation we are using off function we can also do the same thing using undelegate function so let's use undelegate, but if you look at the syntax of this function, notice that with this we have to first specify the selector and then the type of event. Okay, so let's save the changes, reload this and look at this in action quickly. Add a couple of list items. At the moment, event delegation is working. Undelegate, look at this. When I click on these list items, you know, it doesn't fade out. So again, to perform or to stop event delegation, you have two choices. You could either, either use off or undelegate. So which one we should be using? If you're using jQuery version 1.7 or higher, then use off. If you're using jQuery version 1.6 or earlier, then your best bet is to use undelegate. Thank you for listening and have a great day.